With all the funky weather we've had this year, a weatherproof vacation destination has been key, and today I'm at one of the best, Jay Peak, Vermont. In the past two years, Jay has added an NHL-size ice arena and a 50,000-square-foot indoor water park that includes one of only two indoor aqua loops in the world. And by the way, Jay Peak's managed to get 300 inches of snow this year as well. It's been a warm week across the region, but most open runs are still well covered with machine-made snow. Mountain Creek has called it a season, but you should be able to make some turns this weekend at Blue Mountain and Shawnee Mountain. The earlier efforts of the snowmakers at Catamount, Butternut, and Jiminy Peak are paying dividends now, and the base snow's hanging in there. In the Catskills, you'll still find a wide variety of open terrain at Windham and Hunter. Windham will hold an Irish festival all weekend. Greek Peak in Cortland and West Mountain in Glens Falls still have a good supply of machine-made snow on their open runs. There are loads of open slopes and trails at Gore and Whiteface in the Adirondacks with nearly 100 runs skiable at Stowe. The machine-made snows holding tough at Mount Snow in Killington in Vermont and Bretton Woods in New Hampshire is still well worth the drive. Out west, the mountains of Utah are going to be snowy this weekend, and that's great news at Deer Valley, Snowbird, and Park City. Jackson Hole's enjoyed another snowy week, and snows will be developing this weekend at Alta in Utah and Telluride in Colorado. Spring skiing is early this season, so get out and enjoy that ego-building corn snow. I'm Herb Stevens, the skiing weatherman.